Many years ago, I was not as old as I am today. I know that's profound. But I'm down along what's called Duck Alley of the Boise River, just outside of Eagle, Idaho. I used to be down here by myself years and years ago. Now it's changed. It's kind of the way life is, isn't it? Things are always moving and changing and growing. That's the cycle of life. You are either growing or you're dying. That's God's nature. And if you choose to become successful, you're going to have to grow, not only physically and in years, but most importantly, you're going to have to grow mentally. Nobody can do it for you. It's your own personal responsibility. I was blessed to see nature as a very young boy. My dad first brought me down to these parts. There weren't even roads down here. Farming roads because it was all pasture land. But I came down here and found out where the good fishing holes were and where you could catch fish and where you could really have a lot of fun. It also helped develop my imagination. I mean, there were all kinds of grizzly bears down here in my mind. There were all kinds of monsters and dragons and large snakes and things that could eat you like bears and lions and such. And imagination is a great part of your own success. It's the seedbed of all your dreaming. And because success begins with a dream, the stronger you develop that talent to use your own God-given imagination, the better off you're going to be when it comes to creative thinking. You know, you've got the single greatest asset ever put on the earth by God for His creation, mankind, is called a human brain. Millions upon millions upon millions of cells all put together for the purpose of your imagination to create new ideas, ways, and means to pursue the plan God has for your life. Of course, you can't know God's plan for your life unless you first know God personally. Not know about Him, know Him personally. I think it's important you all realize that you cannot have a relationship with a dead person. Your relationship needs to be based on a living God. And there's only one. And that's, of course, Jesus. Now, I know that might bite some of you, but the truth always does bite if you're not prepared to hear it. For those who are ready to hear it, they want to know it. They want to know more about it and more about it and more about it. Just like all the changes that have occurred in this little playground that I had as a small child. Your parents let you come down here in this dangerous position alone? Well, sometimes they didn't know I was here. Other times they came with me, and sometimes they let me come by myself. Because of a thing called trust. That's what mentorship's all about. It's about creating a personal relationship with a living person who knows more than you know and is willing to share their knowledge with you if you choose to use it. Mentorship is the secret that all the great achievers have in their basket of tools. When you learn from people how to do what they've already done, you save yourself lots and lots of heartburn, headaches, pain, and suffering. Now, a question. Which is the least painful way for you to learn? From your own broken nose or from somebody else's? I think you'll have to agree it's better to listen and learn from someone else's experience than to go out and get your own nose broken. Personally, my nose has been broken seven times. 
not bragging about that. It happened from sticking it where it didn't belong. Have you ever been down that trail? Now, just remember this. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. Oh no. Life's victories always go to the one who thinks he can get the job done. Mentorship shortens the route, straightens the path, lessens the incline. But success is always uphill from where you now stand. So it's going to be a struggle. It's going to require effort. And you're going to have to stretch yourself beyond your present capabilities. And I will tell you, the satisfaction you receive from doing that will confirm that you're on your own road to personal success. I'm serious. I hope you are, because if you are, I truly will see you at the top. Peace and love to all of you. Papa Bear.